I'm Nina, Bro Nina Brown, and you are now watching the Nina Channel. <laughs>
And if you're going to do the nostril area, put a little more paint in that middle part to make it look separated. Now I'm going ahead and jumping and doing liner. I'm the kind of artist that kind of does things here and there. I don't just go into order, do my eyes first. I might stop my eyes, go to my face, come back to my eyes, you know? And I'm putting some glitter on top. I actually put a glitter glue on top that I didn't show first so that the glitter holds. And that glitter is also from that same palette. And then whenever I use paint or liquids, I still get a, a shadow to make it look more defined and to lock it in place. But that's just a personal choice. That palette right there is a paint palette. Can't think of the name right now, but you see I'm going into the socket area with some red and deeper colors to go into the paint and make it look more 3D and more defined. <laughs> it's about definition. You have to have definition. Twizzlers. I actually hate Twizzlers. I hate them. But for this look, I got some and I was trying to figure out if I wanted to put it like on my face, on my neck, but I ended up putting it around the forehead area to hide any perfections that imperfections that might be with the bald cap or whatever the case is, or just to have a design there. And I'm using prosthetic glue, my finger right? Latex glue, <laughs> been a long time. And just using that to stick it on there. Some yellow Meron paint again. And I'm kind of going into my mouth area. I wasn't too sure what color I wanted it to be in there, but I decided to go with the brighter color since it's all about candy. And then I'm also going to define the area, as you see, with some deeper reds and some blacks as well, and some shadowing just to make it look more 3D and defined. <laughs> And make sure you get inside under the teeth or the tongue area to make it look more 3D and the teeth look like they're actually like your actual teeth. It's about adding all the shadowing. Now what I did there was use some more yellow activated Miron paint. And this is me making my teeth look like candy corn versus using the actual candy corn. And I'm doing that because somehow it helps. Oh God. And I'm using nail glue. This is the old drag queen technique. I'm using nail glue to put on my ears so I can put on my sweet tart earrings. You know, that candy that we used to always used to act like it was medicine back in the day. And it works for me. But if you have like clip on earrings, you can use that glue to keep it to have to help it stay on. What I'm doing now is just what Pierre does. I'm just adding more definition. And this right here is the fake spider webs. I wanted my look to just seem like I was buried for a while in this candy grave. And as you see, it gives a great touch to it, but that's just my own personal choice. You don't have to do this. And you see the mouth looks so spooky and I'm adding just a little red above the gums. You know, once again, definition, honey, definition and a little bit of white highlights to go along to make it pop more spooky ah. <laughs> and I decided to paint my neck I think I wanted to do more but I was so tired that I was just like I just did my neck area I didn't do my whole body but you can do what you want to do with your look and once again same with the face adding some black around making it look more defined some shadowing make it look 3d even though I ended up covering it up with candy anyway so it's kind of pointless as you'll see. And I'm adding a little bit of striping around the neck, a little bit of colors. I did like a rainbow kind of effect around my neck just to kind of match the candy on my face. But once again, it's all up to you on what you want to do with your candy skull look. And I'm using spirit gum to glue the candy that I choose to glue. I thought I was going to use the Twizzler as you see, but then my mind changes and I take it off. So I wasted a plenty of time, as you see, and um, decided to use candy corn, the candy corn that I was gonna use on my teeth. We're gonna go ahead and still get use out of it and put it around my neck. And personally, I hate candy corn. Any neighbor who passes out candy corn, egg their house. And here you go guys, the finish real candy. Sugar skull, honey. I am proud of this look. Took a lot of damn time. It's late at night. My nose is running, honey. I would have done more on my body. But, um, yeah, she's tired. So, this is what you get, girl. 
the candy corns are breaking. Girl, the ants are coming in the house because they want to eat my face off. Girl, can y'all imagine me opening the door on Halloween and the kids are saying trick or treat and they eat me alive? I can't. Bye. Mwah. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I can't wait to see your spooky looks. And please give credit to me if you do this look. Thank you.